a strength regarding the PN junction diode or you can say semiconductor diode. PN junction diode is nothing but 3N junction uh, which has two electrodes connected at the end. So PN junction, those two electrodes fixed with the PN junctions are useful for applying the extra voltage. So depends upon the direction of current flowing through it or you can say direction of the voltage applied to it, you can uh, say it may be forward bias or it may be reverse bias. So bias means it is nothing but uh, so those two electrodes are help uh, to apply the external voltage it depends upon the direction of current flow it may be like if p is connected to positive terminal of the battery it is uh, said to be a forward bias condition if n is connected to the uh, positive terminal of the battery then it is said to be negative to, negative uh, sorry uh, reverse bias condition so we have observed there we have observed there in the, in the previous chapter in the, in the previous lectures we have observed that if the diode is in forward bias condition, if and only if the diode is in forward bias condition, then current is flowing through it. If the diode is in reverse bias condition, there will be no current flowing. Hence, uh, this can be this purpose or this phenomenon or this uh, property of the diode can be used for the further application. One of the application is best application is the rectification or rectifiers these levels can be used as the rectifiers so what do you mean by rectifiers so today's topic what we are studying is rectifier we are studying the topic rectifier what do you mean by rectifier what are the types of rectifier how can you categorize and what are the basic basic components of the rectifiers music so what do you mean by the rectifier a rectifier or the rectifiers are the devices which convert so what term you have to remember here is which converts bidirectional current into unidirectional current so what do you mean by bidirectional current if you take an ac if you take an ac current so first i'll write what do you mean by rectifiers converts converts bidirectional current to unidirection unidirection current so rectifiers are the devices which convert bidirection current into unidirection so what do you mean by bidirection unidirection currents if you take an example of alternate current if you take an example of alternate current this axis indicates voltage and this axis indicates the time and uh, time voltage of the alternate current varies with the time like this means this half cycle is positive and this half cycle is negative and this half cycle is positive so this is what the bidirection is bidirection means what voltage or current have both in positive direction as well as in the negative direction so here you can see voltage varies positively then it becomes negative and once again it becomes positive like this voltage goes on increasing and it reaches the maximum value and goes on decreases and reaches zero once again it increases in the minus direction so this is what the bidirectional current if you take unidirection current unidirection current if this is voltage or current you can say it is time unidirection current you can indicate like this a straight line which is dc and this indicates the alternate current or you can also see this kind of current or you can also say this side only in the positive direction or you can also say in the negative direction so this kind of the current in only one direction or it may be in it may be in the positive direction or it may be in the negative direction such current is called unidirectional current uni means single unidirectional by means double two direction so these are nothing but so now we can further define rectifiers as rectifiers are the devices which can convert alternate current into dc direct current so here you can see bidirectional alternate current unidirectional direct current so the purpose of the rectifiers is that it converts 
bidirection current into unidirectional current. So remember what do you mean by rectifier. So here in the rectifiers we are going to study two kinds of rectifiers. One is half wave rectifier, half wave rectifiers and full wave rectifiers. We will study what do you mean by half wave rectifiers and full wave rectifiers in detail. So first we will go for the half wave rectifier. What do you mean by half wave rectifier and all? So half wave rectifier, it is a rectifier which allows only half cycle of or you can say which gives an output for only half cycle of uh, alternate current. So half wave rectifier. So half wave rectifier, it is a rectifier which gives an output only for half cycle of alternate current. Means this, these are the kind of rectifiers which only use the output during half cycle. It may be positive cycle, it may be negative cycle of the AC gives the output. So how it works and all, what are the components we will see. So here I am drawing circuit diagram for the half wave rectifier. First, I will draw the uh, circuit diagram for this one. Thereafter, I will give the construction. Thereafter, how it works. So, let us see the construction. This symbol represents AC input. So, this symbol, wave symbol, indicates the AC current input or it is an AC source. And this is what I am drawing here. This is the but the transformer. And you know what this one, this is the diode. And this symbol is the resistance area. Right? So this is what the diagram constructions. And here, these two indicates the two coils. These are the two coils, which together called as the transformer. Together called as the transformer. And this is diode. To understand, I mark point A, and here I mark point B. And this is load resistance. This is what the load. Resistance means you can say the output can be obtained there. So this is what the load resistance is. So this is what the construction. It includes alternate source, transformer, a diode, and a load resistance. So let me first explain regarding the constructions. So first we will start from the transformer. A uh, half wave rectifier consists of a transformer. Transformer. And this coil, we can say this coil as a primary coil and this one as a secondary coil. Primary coil and secondary coil. Now you can see primary coil is connected to AC source and secondary coil is connected to uh, diode and load resistance. So let us uh, say that first or you can say let us explain that first. So the half wave rectifier includes the transformer whose primary coil is connected to alternate current source and secondary coil is connected to diode, semiconductor diode, which is further connected to load resistance, where we can obtain the output voltage. So this is what the input voltage is. Here you can see input voltage Vi, and here you can obtain the output as voltage Vo across the load resistance. So for uh, RF, I am getting the output voltage and here it is what the input voltage is. And input voltage is of this kind. Input voltage of this kind. So it is what the first half cycle. So I will explain that later. This is what the voltage is and this is what the time is. Right? So try to understand the thing here. What we I am going to explain is when 
in the primary coil in the primary coil positive current flows means positive half cycle of the alternate current flows positive half cycle of the alternate current flows then same positive current is starts flowing in the secondary coil secondary coil so in the secondary coil when positive current starts flowing means positive current starts flowing means point a point a becomes positive first point a becomes positive during positive half cycle and point b becomes negative means this arrow head of the diode indicates p and this mark vertical line indicates n here you can say positive terminal of the source is connected to p and negative terminal of the source is connected to n hence the diode is in forward bias condition so diode is in forward bias condition hence it allows current through it so hence it allows the current through it i mark here c and it is d so current flows through like c to d current flows through c to d. that of that i can show like this so c to d this is what first half cycle so i'll repeat it when positive cycle of the alternate current flows through it flows through it or flows through the primary coil due to the transfer power phenomena or due to the mutual induction the current induced or voltage induced in the secondary coil uh, as per the requirement here again i have shown a point smaller means as per the requirement as per the needful the voltage is uh, voltage is induced in the secondary coil now talking about the polarity point a becomes as the positive half cycle flowing in the primary coil point a becomes positive and point b becomes negative as the point a is connected to p hence you can say that positive is connected to p and negative is connected to n is it becomes the forward bias condition the diode becomes forward bias condition so in the forward bias condition it allows the current flow through it let like that is what it allows the current flow through next second one is when next cycle for the next half cycle you can say negative half cycle when negative half cycle flows through the primary coil when the negative half cycle flows through the primary coil in the secondary coil according to requirement the negative half cycle is induced negative half cycle means for the negative half cycle this point a becomes negative this point a becomes negative and b becomes positive b becomes positive so it indicates that p of the semiconductor diode is connected to negative terminal and n is connected to positive terminal of the battery so during the second half cycle or we can say during the negative half cycle uh, diode becomes in the reverse bias condition hence it does not allow the current flow through it it does not allow current to flow through it means here a gap is there means half cycle gap will be there and for and uh, once again for the positive half cycle once again i will get the output and so on i get output so here whatever the current is flowing through the load resistance it is in the direction of c to b so the direction of the current is always c to b means only positive cycle will be induced in the uh, flow through the uh, diode so i'll write down the points what the points are uh, necessary here so just note it down and uh, make the notes so i will go on writing the points so first one when positive half cycle positive half cycle half cycle uh, flows or you can say through primary coil primary coil require amount of require amount of current induced in induced in secondary coil so depends upon this the direction i can say during the positive half cycle current flows in this direction current flows like this 
current flows like this. So current flows like this means point A becomes point A becomes positive and point B becomes becomes negative. So point A becomes positive and point B becomes negative means diode in diode in forward bias condition condition hence for positive half cycle positive half cycle input output is obtained output is obtained across the load resistance so across the load resistance we are getting the output across the load resistance we are getting the output hence you have to repeat the same point so when negative half cycle is induced in the primary coil the required amount of current is induced in the secondary coil then point A becomes here negative and here it is positive and the diode becomes in reverse bias reverse bias condition and hence for the negative half cycle input there is no output across the load resistance so this is regarding the two cycles of the uh, input so I'll repeat it once again what we have studied here so listen very carefully so rectifier half a rectifier consists of AC source which is connected to primary coil and secondary coil of the transformer is connected to diode and the lower resistance as shown in the figure so what figure we have shown when working when positive half cycle start flowing through the primary coil required amount of voltage is induced in the secondary coil secondary coil such that such that point A becomes positive and point B becomes negative as the point A becomes positive which is connected to P of the diode and point B is connected to N hence diode is will be in the reverse bias condition diode will be in the reverse bias condition sorry forward bias condition as P is positive so forward bias condition so diode will be in the forward bias condition hence current start flowing through the diode and output will be obtained across the load resistance output will be obtained during the load resistance next for the negative half cycle when the negative half cycle start flowing through the primary coil of the transformer required amount of current will be induced in the secondary coil such that point A becomes negative and point B becomes positive under this condition diode becomes in the reverse bias condition there will be no current flowing through it that can be shown by the figure and conclusion you have to write during the positive half cycle we are getting the output and during the negative half cycle we are, do, we are not getting any output voltage so this is regarding the half wave rectifier these half wave rectifiers are used in the radio transformers so these half wave rectifiers are used in the radio transformers so here you can see in the half wave rectifier for this much time we are not at all getting output for this much time we are not at all getting output means uh, this is the drawback of this half wave rectifier this is the drawback of half wave rectifier we will correct that uh, drawback in the full wave rectifier we shall see in the further class